Hi everyone. So I have already looked at the strings in Muse Sounds, but I missed so many things that some of you have requested that I thought I should make a second video to cover some more of these sounds. After all, the string section seems to have the widest variety of sound colors that we can notate. Before we get into that though, I must mention that there have already been numerous updates to Muse Sounds and Muse Score 4 Beta since the first strings video I made, including fixes for some of the issues that I reported on. The portamento in the solo strings has been much improved. Listen to this. So that's a definite improvement. I'm also happy to report that exporting the score in either MP3 or WAV works perfectly. Even though the playback in MuseScore is still glitchy at low buffer sizes, the export sounds just fine. Here I have a low buffer size. And that's the kind of playback we don't want. However, even at that uh, low buffer size, the exporting sounds fine. But obviously, we normally want a better sound as we're playing it, so we have to use the higher buffer size. Lovely. Okay, now for some of the sounds I missed in the first video. In this little composition, I have used tremolo, solo viola, wide trills, repeated staccato, including accents, glissando, grace notes, double stops, harmonics, and a melodic double bass. There isn't actually a solo double bass provided. So let's hear all those elements. This one was so much fun to compose. All right, as usual, good points first. I'm definitely a fan of this shimmering tremolo string sound, although I haven't tried it in the louder dynamics and I think I still would like to. I also really like the tone of the solo viola, particularly for the purpose I gave it in this piece. I did raise its volume a little to stick out over the rest of the strings, but we have that creative decision in the mixer, which is great. Because of those round robins I talked about last time, these repeated staccato notes sound natural, which makes a huge difference to the overall sound. I like that we have these string harmonics, although I do want to caution anyone who tries to write string harmonics without really knowing what you're talking about. There are different ways to notate them, and you can't just assume that all notes are playable and will be in tune. You also have the difference between natural harmonics and artificial harmonics to be aware of. So if you really want to write for harmonics, go look it up in an orchestration book, I think, or we'll ask a string player. The harmonics in musical four sound an octave higher than the note you enter, as if they were the first natural harmonic. So while these are so much fun to play with, make sure you find out how to notate them properly if you're going to be giving this music to real life string players. There are still some things that I would like to have improved. 
These tremolos between notes sound really nice, but I was hoping they could be more connected to make that constant shimmering sound. There's that bit of a gap between them. I've already said I like the staccato repeated notes, but there's no hint of these marcato accents making any difference, which is really a pity. I'm hearing more of a glissando or portamento on these two notes than here where I've actually written a staccato. Someone has suggested previously on Discord that portamento and detaché have been swapped for the solo viola, so perhaps that is the case, since I have this gliss actually set to portamento. If I set it to chromatic, which is the default, then we hear every single note in between, and I don't think that's what we want. That's not a natural glissando at all. So I'll leave it set to portamento and hope that that gets fixed soon. I'm not so impressed with the fast notes in the solo viola. I much prefer the fast runs in the solo violin and cello. Perhaps it's also related to the portamento issue? Not sure. These grace notes over here don't come out so well. I think they might have some of the timing issues that we've seen in musical 4. Hopefully that's a, a fairly easy fix for the developers. I'm fairly happy with this double stop, but obviously this is not how they're normally notated for solo instruments. Normally I think it could just be notated like this. I've had to make a workaround to make the sound more realistic. Although that sound is really nice. While this double bass sound is fine, it would have been great to have a solo double bass sound for situations like this, where we really want to hear the detail in every bow stroke, like we can with the solo violin, viola, and cello. But contrabasses is only the section, and no solo like we have with the violins and cellos and viola. So if there is anything else you would like to hear the strings do, feel free to leave a comment. I'll also be looking at some of the updates and things I missed in the other libraries, so please subscribe if you would like to see those videos coming up. Bye!